Let's set up an inventory item. To set up an inventory item, we come here under Maintain and we come into the Inventory Items window. Now we want to discuss this window a little bit because we use this Maintain Inventory Items window to set up a variety of things. To demonstrate this, let's come over here to Item Class. Here we can see all the different item classes. Of course we have stock items, non-stock, description only, service items, labor, assemblies, and down here are time and billing items, activity items, and charge items. Let's look at some inventory items that are already in the system. Let's look at a birdhouse kit. Here, this is an assembly item. So, when we set up the birdhouse kit, of course we assigned an item ID, a description. Here, we put in a description for sales and for purchases. Purchases we left blank. This is what will appear on a sales invoice. Down here we set our price levels. Unit of measure. Now this unit of measure, let me caution you, Peachtree does not use this unit of measure for calculation purposes. This is for informational purposes only for the Peachtree user. This is our type category, so we can categorize our inventory for reporting purposes and use purposes within our Peachtree software. Location, tax type. Over here we set our default sales inventory and cost of sales accounts for this inventory item. We can also have Peachtree alert us for reorder points and set who our default vendor is. Now we wanted to pull this item in because we wanted to look at assembly. Let's go to the bill of materials window. Here we set our bill of materials so that when we assemble inventory, this inventory item, Peachtree will pull from these items within inventory. Next, let's look at another inventory item. Let's come down here and let's look at the bird bath. You can see the bird bath is a stock item. So the bill of materials here is shaded. We don't need to assemble this item. Let's look and see what's in here for purchases. So when we cut a purchase order, this is what will come in to the purchase order description field. Let's look at beginning balances. When we transition over to Peachtree, we will need to set up beginning balances for our inventory items. Once again, beginning balances do not adjust your general ledger. Here's our beginning balance screen. Click on an item and you come here and enter the quantity, unit cost. To get your total inventory valuation to agree with what you have at your transition point or conversion point. Finally, let's scroll down and let's look at one more inventory item. You see all these that have the NA by them? That's because we don't have a stock of these items because 
their service items. So this is a service that we provide, landscaping service. We put in a price per hour. So the windows over here for reorder point and minimum quantity, those windows are gone on these screens. We encourage you to get comfortable with these item class. Item class is the most important thing on this window. The important thing to remember is that anything that you're going to sell through Peachtree that you're going to want to track information on, you need to set up in the maintain inventory items window. But you don't have to have items in inventory to sell them. In other words, let's come here and sell something. Sales invoicing. And let's sell to Coleman Realty. Of course we can come down here and we can sell them one birdhouse out of inventory. And everything calculates over for us. But if we choose to sell something that we don't want to track in inventory, then don't use the quantity and item columns here. You can come in here and you can type in special birdhouse. Don't use the unit price column because the unit price column will reference over here to quantity. Just come over here and put your amount. $249.99. Let's look at this invoice. See? Now, if we needed more of a description here, let's go back. Let's go ahead and put a 1 here. And let's put our 1, 249.99. Now, let's look at it again. That's a useful way to do invoicing. Many users we find think that they have to have every single thing set up in inventory. You don't. Only set up those items in inventory that you want to track information on. And once again, you use maintain inventory items to set up a variety of things, not just tangible stock items service items, assembly items, charge items, activity items, etc.